Okay, we're live, everyone. And then can you give me the count? How many uh, parents do we have on right now? Uh, we're just going to hold for about one minute before we get going. Uh, Ms. Tabagian, how many parents do we have? Six? Uh, eight. Eight? Okay, eight. okay we're, we'll hold for one more minute, see if we can get up to about 10, and then we'll see which pathway has the most students. Uh, 5.31 will begin. Okay, then if we can get everyone on the uh, on their mute button. 13. 13, all right. Uh, 30 seconds. Okay, let's get started. Good evening, parents. This is Paul Hirsch, principal of the STEM Academy. Buenas noches, padres. Este es Paul Hirsch, el director de la Academia STEM. We know that during times like this, it's important to reach out to the school. So that's what we're doing tonight. We have our 11th grade team of teachers here to tell you a little bit about what the rest of the semester will look like and then answer any questions that you have. Um, we can take questions in the chat box to your right. Um, and we'll also give you a phone number. So if you want to call in, you can do that as well. Um, sabemos que durante tiempos confusos y difíciles, es importante que la escuela se comunique con las familias. Esta noche, escuchará a cada maestro sobre las tareas que tendrán los estudiantes para el resto del año y cómo puede comunicarse con el maestro si lo necesita. También puede enviarnos preguntas ahora en el cuadro de chat a su derecha y haremos todo lo posible para responderlas. Pero antes de esto, tengo algunos anuncios. So now we have some uh, announcements that Ms. Tabagian will lead us in. Good evening. Uh, my name is Esther Tabagian. I'm the instructional coach at STEM Academy. Here are a few important announcements. 15-week uh, grades will be mailed home on May 14th. The May 21st is coffee with the principal. This year's school will end on June 12th. And there will be summer school online and available to all students for credit recovery and enrichment classes like music and art. We will send you the details of which courses are available when we receive them. School begins next year on August 18th. And we're waiting for the health authorities to decide if we can come back on campus in August or continue with virtual learning. We will let you know as soon as we find out. Um, buenas noches, padres. Mi nombre es Esther Debagian. Y soy la instructora de instrucción en la Academia STEM. Uh, aquí algunos anuncios. Las calificaciones de 15 semanas se enviarán por correo el 14 de mayo. 21 de mayo es café con el director. La escuela termina el 12 de junio. Habrá escuela de verano en línea y será disponible para todos los estudiantes que necesitan recuperación de créditos y clases de enriquecimiento como música y arte. Uh, le enviaremos los detalles cuando los recibamos. La escuela comienza el próximo año, el 18 de agosto, Y estamos esperando que las autoridades de salud decidan si podemos regresar al campus en agosto o continuar con el aprendizaje virtual. Informaremos tan pronto como lo descubramos. Um, y ahora reunámonos con nuestros maestros de décimo grado, uh, uh, lo siento, de once grado, um, y consejeras. And now let's meet our 11th grade teachers and our counselors. Hi, good evening families. My name is Ms. Ramirez and I'm the ninth and 10th grade counselor. 
Muy buenas tardes, familias. Yo soy Miss Ramírez, soy la consejera del décimo y del noveno grado. Bienvenidos. Good afternoon, parents. I'm Mr. Ramos. I'm the attendance counselor. You can reach me at 213-725-5600, extension 2912. I hope you have a great afternoon here with us. Muy buenas tardes, padres de familia. Yo soy el señor Ramos, consejero de asistencia. Me puede contactar al número 213-725-5600, extensión 2912. Espero que pase una tarde agradable aquí con nosotros. Hi parents, I'm Dr. Kavner and I'm the 11th and 12th grade counselor. Hola familias, ella es la consejera Dr. Kavner, es la consejera del onceavo y doceavo grado. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yesenia Luis. I am the college advisor at STEM. Buenas tardes. Yo soy Yesenia Luis, soy la consejera de colegio de STEM. And then um, our office staff is Veronica Mercado, Sonia Ochoa, and Mirna Rivera. They're not with us this evening, but you can call the office at 323-391-4908. Um, tienes preguntas, tú puedes llamar la número de la oficina de STEM, que es um, 323-391-4908. Y ahora, la, los maestros. Wait, did I, did I skip up gear up? Did I do that? Did we miss anything? Yeah, yeah Kristen. Every night I do that. Sorry, Kristen. That's okay. Really quick. My, my name is Kristen Diedrichson. I'm the coordinator of the Gear Up program, and we work with your um, juniors, the class of 2021 and the class of 2020. And um, we look forward to helping your students get ready for college and working with Yesenia next year. I just Did want to remind everyone. That... For me? Cynthia? Muy buenas tardes. Yo soy la maestra Kristen Diedrichsen. Yo trabajo con el programa de Gear Up. Estoy disponible para ayudarlos a sus hijos y hijas. And then this is Principal Hirsch just modeling the fact that it's okay to make mistakes. And now for the teachers, los maestros. Uh, good afternoon, parents. My name is Ms. Hall. My student teacher is Mr. Lopez and um, we're teaching physics. Uh, right now, our focus is to, um, is, is the Big Bang and stars. So I really like this because it gives a lot of perspective on um, how big things are and how small we can feel in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, my office hours are Thursday from 12 to two and Friday from 11 to 12. Uh, buenas tardes, padres. Uh, soy maestra de ciencia física. Um, Senora Hall, um, en uh, física ahora um, estamos estudiar um, el Big Bang y la, las estrellas. Um, mi horas de oficina son jueves de 12 a 2, a la 2, y uh, viernes de 11 a la 12. Uh, a la 12. I get, oh yeah, okay. Um, I think we skipped the last one. Can we go back one? Thanks. Okay, so well, right now, um, your students should just have finished a quick uh, project about the life cycle of the stars. Maybe they had you take a quiz. I think you need to go one slide forward. There we go. Um, it might look something like this. They also might've made videos with their partners. Um, and uh, next, they're going to be going into a paper about the Big Bang. Um, la semana pasada, su estudiante trabaja a, um, a una video, un video or, um, o papeles sobre uh, una estrella, so, nosotros, uh, nuestra estrella. Y ahora su estudiante está uh, escribir un una papel sobre uh, el Big Bang. Gracias. 
the next class is also mine. <laughs> um, I also teach AP chemistry. Some of your students might be taking this, some of them might not be. Um, right now we're focusing on applying chemistry concepts in word problems and applying chemistry into social issues. Um, we have office hours this week, but most importantly, the AP exam is this Thursday at 11 a.m. And we're having a meeting at 10.15 to make sure that everybody gets logged in and uh, does all of that. Um, after that, the students will be working on the project on the next slide, which is about um, toxic waste management. Oh, um, buenas tardes padres, soy la maestra de AP Chemistry, uh, química uh, de colegio. Y ahora estamos um, preparar para el examen AP uh, este jueves a la 11. Y es muy importante que su estudiante preparar uh, para login a la 10 y cuarto tenemos una conferencia para preparar. And my last one. <laughs> Um, I also teach AP Environmental Science. Um, our AP exam is next Monday at 1 p.m. Same thing, we're going to have students log in to have a quick preparation meeting about 45 minutes before the exam starts to make sure that they're ready. After that, we're going to be looking at um, the uh, a service learning project in the real world. And this is really important because, I mean, the whole COVID-19 thing is connected to um, environmental science and all of the rest of it. So, uh, buenas tardes, padres. Soy la maestra de um, ciencia natura. Y ahora estamos preparados para el examen AP este, um, la próxima lunes a la uno. A la uno. En, y um, tenemos una conferencia para preparar a la doce y cuarto la próxima lunes. Gracias. Good evening, parents. My name is Jason Dorr. I teach uh, two periods of AP Lit this year, and I have uh, mixed classes of both uh, medical and engineering students. Uh, right now, our, our actually the AP exam is Wednesday. So we've been working the last couple of weeks intensively to prepare for the exam. And I'm sure you have seen your children working feverishly on um, uh, numerous writing assignments. Uh, my office hours are Thursday from three to four and Friday from two to three. And the next slide shows examples of all the different types of prompts uh, your children have been working on. Thank you. Hola, buenas tardes, padres de familia. Yo soy el maestro Dor y tengo dos secciones de literatura um, y también enseño a los estudiantes de médico y de ingeniería. Lo que hemos estado um, haciendo los últimos últimas semanas es preparándonos para el examen de AP de clases avanzadas. Tenemos nuestro examen el miércoles. Y mis horas de oficina son, o de tutoría, son los jueves y, y viernes. Los jueves de 13 y 4 de la tarde y los viernes de 2 a 3 de la tarde. Y esos son unos ejemplos de los pasajes que hemos analizado y discutido en, durante nuestras sesiones de clases. Good evening, parents. My name is Mr. Boca Sangre. I am the American Authors and Composition teacher this year. And currently our objective is to just really think about a person's place in society, uh, especially in relation to our own. We're doing that by reading, discussing, and responding to Their Eyes Were Watching God, a novel by Nora Zeal Hurston. And my office hours are currently Thursdays and Fridays, uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Buenas tardes, padres. Mi nombre es Señor Poca Sangre. Soy el maestro inglés del once grado. Y ahorita nuestro objetivo es de pensar de nuestro nuestra propia posición en la sociedad de la manera que estamos haciendo esto. Es leer, discutir y responder a un libro que estamos leyendo ahorita. Y mis horas que estoy disponible para tutoría son los jueves y los viernes de 10 de la mañana a las 11 de la mañana. Gracias.
Next slide. Yeah. Yeah, these are just some examples of what the kind of work they're doing. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Ms. Aguirre. I teach Algebra 2, and here you have my email if you need to con um, contact me. Um, this year's uh, purpose in Algebra 2 is for students to build up their understanding of math for higher levels, but also at the moment we're really focusing on exponential growth um, to get a better understanding of the world around us like we've seen with the coronavirus. Um, you can also see my tutoring hours, if you go back to the last slide, are on Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Muy buenas tardes, soy la maestra Yere y enseño la clase de Algebra 2. Aquí tiene mi correo electrónico si tiene que comunicar conmigo. El objetivo de nuestra clase es para entender el mundo uh, y en el momento estamos aprendiendo del um, crecimiento exponencial como hemos visto en el virus corona. Y si sus estudiantes necesitan ayuda, me pueden comunicar los jueves a las 10 y los viernes a las 11 mis horas de tutoría. Y aquí en este slide se puede ver cada semana hay un folder con las con algunos video, videos de instrucciones y las tareas por la semana. En esta semana actual no hay una tarea nueva para que los estudios, estudiantes se enfoquen en um, hacer sus tareas que no han cumplido en el momento. Uh, right here you can see a folder with an example of what students would have each week. Uh, with video instruction as well as their homework this week. They don't actually have any homework that's new so that they can focus on catching up on missing assignments at the moment. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Miss Molly, one of the three medical uh, advisory teachers for 11th grade. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, um, office hours uh, Thursday 10 to 11 a.m. and Friday 1 to 2 p.m. Muy buenas tardes. Ella es la, la maestra Miss Molly. Es la maestra de advisory de homeroom de sus hijos y hijas. Ella dice que si usted uh, puede localizarla por sus horas de tutoría, Los jueves de 10 a 11 de la mañana y también ella está disponible los viernes de 1 a 2. El motivo de su clase, ella ha estado con su hijo o hija por cuatro años. El próximo año sería el tercer año. Ella, perdón, el cuarto año, ella prohíbe a socioemocional y apoyo socioemocional a todos sus estudiantes. Gracias. Is Mr. Trackenberg here? Okay, can we get um, Mr. Trackenberg? Um, his office hours are from 10 to 11 on Thursday and Friday mornings. So las horas de oficina de Mr. Trackenberg está 10 en la mañana, uh, um, 11 en jueves y viernes. Gracias. Hola, buenas tardes, padres de familia. Yo soy la maestra Gómez y soy la maestra de su hijo. Um, enseño matemáticas, el curso de precálculos. Um, tengo las clases periodo 1, 2, los jueves de 1 a 2 de la tarde y el periodo 4 y 5, los, los viernes de 12 a 1. Esas son las horas de tutoría. Pero al momento lo que estamos um, aprendiendo en la clase son... Um, analizando problemas de que vemos en, en la vida real sobre triángulos y cómo, um, cómo averiguar los, oh gosh, <ríe> los ángulos y qué tanto miden los lados de un triángulo. Um, hi, good evening, parents. My name, this is Ms. Gomez, um, your daughter or child's pre-calculus teacher. At the moment, we're studying and um, studying how to find the angle measurements and side lengths of real world problems, and also learning about the ratios involving the laws of trigonometry. My office hours are Thursdays from 1 to 2 and um, Fridays from 12 to 1. And what we're doing at the moment, or 
Yeah, so the, in this slide, it's just an example of what students will see on Schoology. I give them a detailed page of when my class hours are, my tutoring hours, and also I post weekly videos on how to solve similar problems um, in addition to my live classes. And we also have weekly assignments involving real world problems. In this página van a ver un ejemplo sobre lo que miran los estudiantes en la página de internet para la clase. Les doy un, una página detallada sobre las horas de tutoría y las horas de las clases. También les um, doy un ejemplo de un video de, que les ayuda a cómo um, resolver los ángulos de un triángulo y los lados. Um, hi, good evening. My name is Ms. Chavez and I am your child's medical teacher. Um, right now, students are learning about the differences between normal cells and cancer cells. And my office hours are 12 to 1 on Thursdays and um, 10 to 11 on Fridays if you need to contact me. Um, Buenas tardes, me llamo Ms. Chavez y soy la maestra de medicina. Ahorita los estudiantes están aprendiendo sobre las diferencias entre células normales y células cancerosas. Mi tiempo de tutoría son um, jueves desde las 12 hasta las 1 y viernes desde las 10 hasta las 11 de la mañana. And um, right now what students are working on is virtual labs. Um, we're working on a technique called DNA microarray where students get to see which genes are involved in cancers. Um, ahorita los estudiantes están trabajando para completar um, experimentos virtuales y están trabajando en aprender de microarrays de ADN para saber qué genes están involucrados en cancer. Thank you. And then um, is Mr. Andrade here? I don't think he is. No, so Mr. Andrade's office hours are on Thursday and Friday from one to two las horas de oficina para Senora Andrade esta jueves y viernes uno a dos. Gracias. Okay, and then um, now we're gonna take any questions. Ahora preguntas, puedes usar uh, la cuadro de chat uh, a su derecha. Do we have any questions? They, there was one question, how to apply for summer school. So for summer school, um, we're still waiting for some information um, and the counselors are gonna um, send out um, a link on where you can sign up. There will be um, online credit recovery enrichment courses, including guitar playing and sports medicine. Uh, and then there will be Edgenuity credit recovery. Um, those will all begin June 22nd, but we are still waiting for information from the district to tell you how to sign up. Someone want to take a stab at that in Spanish? Muy buenas tardes, familias. El director ha informado que las escuelas La escuela de verano tendrá um, lugar empezando junio 22. Será una serie de clases de aprendizaje de enriquecimiento, como tocar guitarra, um, uh, hacer ejercicio. Eso sería unas clases de enriquecimiento. También tendremos clases de recuperación si algún este estudiante ha reprobado algún, algún man, una materia o si necesita tomar una clase. Eso será proporcionado por Edgenuity. Los consejeros vamos a mandar más información y cómo poder registrarse. Gracias. And then thank you to Yesenia Luis who took those questions about uh, applying to college. Um, we, I think we're actually gone over our time. So we'll wait one more minute. Any other questions before we end the medical session? Engineering begins at six o'clock. No? Okay. Um, adios, padres. Um, re um, remember, we have coffee with the principal uh, May 21st. So, café con el director es en nueva y media en la mañana, uh, mayo uh, 21 de mayo. Y gracias. Adios.
Cynthia is a black belt in Blackboard. <laughs> you can add that to your, your uh, dad joke book. <laughs> right, teach your dad jokes, yeah. Hey, it's uh, maybe about now, now. Okay, but we'll, look, look, we're gonna hold um, because it looks like there's three people watching and uh, Mayo, I'm one of them. So um, parents, we're just gonna pause for about a minute and then we'll begin um, with our parent town hall. Thirty seconds. We'll get started in thirty seconds. <clears throat> we have nine people now. Eleven. Okay, let's uh, let's get started. I'll, I'll um, follow up in English, but for now, buenas noches, padres. Este es Paul Hirsch, director de la Academia STEM, aquí con nuestros maestros de noveno grado. Sabemos que durante tiempos confusos y difíciles, es importante que la escuela se comunique con las familias. Esta noche escuchará a cada maestro sobre las tareas que tendrán los estudiantes para el resto del año y cómo puede comunicarse con el maestro si lo necesita. También puede enviarnos preguntas ahora en el cuadro de chat a su derecha y haremos todo lo posible para responderlas. Pero antes de eso, tengo algunos anuncios. So welcome parents. We know that during difficult times like these, it's important for the school to reach out. That's why I'm joined by our ninth or 11th grade uh, our uh, 11th grade parents, our 11th grade teachers to uh, answer questions about what's happening for the rest of the year uh, and take any questions that you have. You can um, ask us questions in the chat box to your right. Um, but before that, we have a few announcements from Ms. Debagian. Good evening, parents. My name is Esther Debagian and I'm the instructional coach at the STEM Academy. Uh, here are a few announcements. 15 week grades will be mailed home on May 14th. May 21st is coffee with a principal and this year, this year school will end on June 12th. There will be summer school. Um, it will be online and available to all students for credit recovery and enrichment classes like music and art. We will send you the details as soon as we receive them. Next year school will start on August 18th. We're waiting for the health authorities to decide if we can come back on campus in August or if we must continue with virtual learning. We will let you know as soon as we find out. Um, buenas uh, noches, padres. Uh, mi nombre es Esther Dabagian y soy la instructora de instrucción en la Academia STEM. Aquí hay algunos anuncios. Uh, los calificaciones de 15 semanas se enviarán por correo el 14 de mayo. 21 de mayo es café con el director. La escuela termina el 12 de junio. Habrá escuela de verano en línea y será disponible para todos los estudiantes que necesitan recuperación de créditos y clases de enriquecimiento como música y arte. Le enviaremos los detalles cuando los uh, recibamos. La escuela comienza el próximo año, el 18 de agosto, y estamos esperando que las autoridades de salud decidan si podemos regresar al campus en agosto o continuar con el aprendizaje virtual. Le informaremos tan pronto como lo descubramos. 
Y ahora reunámonos con nuestros maestros de onceavo grado y uh, consejeras y consejeros. And now let's meet our 11th grade teachers and our counselors. Hi, good evening, families. My name is Ms. Ramirez and I'm the ninth and 10th grade counselor at the STEM Academy. Hola, muy buenas tardes, familias. Soy Ms. Ramirez. Y soy la consejera de la Académica de, de STEM del noveno y del décimo grado. Bienvenidos. Good afternoon, parents. I am Mr. Ramos. I'm the attendance counselor. You can reach me at 213-725-5600, extension 2912. I hope you have a great afternoon here with us. Muy buenas tardes, padres de familia. Soy el señor Ramos, consejero de asistencia. Me puede contactar al número 213-725-5600 extensión 2912. Espero que pase una tarde agradable aquí con nosotros. Hi parents, I'm Dr. Kavner and I am the 11th and 12th grade counselor. Ella es Dr. Kavner, es la consejera académica del onceavo al doceavo grado. Gracias. Good evening everyone, my name is Yesenia Luis and I'm the college advisor at STEM. Hola, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Yesenia Luis y yo soy la consejera de colegio. And hi, I'm Kristen Diedrichsen. I'm the coordinator of the Gear Up program. I work with your students in the class of 2021 and then the class of 2020. Um, and we're here to make sure, along with everybody else, that your students are prepared for college and applying for college next year. The uh, personnel de la oficina is Veronica Mercado, Sonia Ochoa, y Mirna Rivera. Y hay un número de la oficina que está 323-391. 49008. So the um, office staff is Veronica, Sonia, and Mirna, and you can reach them on our Google phone number. If you need to call the office, 323-391-4908. And now the teachers. Ahora los maestros. Do we have Ms. Kogan with us this evening? No, it looks like Ms. Kogan isn't joining this evening, but you can reach her during her office hours from 12 to 1 on Thursday and from 1 to 2 on Friday. Hi, good afternoon. I am Ms. Seguri. I teach Algebra 2. Um, right here you have my email in case you need to communicate with me. The objective are of the Algebra 2 classes for students to get a better understanding of the world around them like we've seen with the exponential growth of the coronavirus. Um, if students need any extra help, I have my tutoring hours Thursday at 10 a.m. and Friday at 11 a.m. Muy buenas tardes, soy la maestra Aguirre de la clase de Algebra 2. Aquí tienen mi correo electrónico si necesitan comunicar conmigo. Um, el objetivo de esta clase es para entender el mundo uh, como el crecimiento exponencial que hemos visto con el virus corona. Y si su estudiante necesita más apoyo en esta clase, puede venir a la hora de tutoría los jueves a las 10 y los viernes a las 11. In the next slide, you can see the, um, an example of what we're doing weekly. We have a folder with video instructions and the assignments that they have each week. Currently at this moment, this week, there are new, no new assignments because their assignment is to catch up on missing assignments at the moment. Um, puede ver un ejemplo de lo que tenemos cada semana en un folder con la fecha de la semana. Se puede encontrar algunos videos de instrucciones y uh, las tareas, pero la semana actual no tenemos ninguna tarea nueva porque les he dicho que ellos hagan sus tareas que le hacen falta en el momento. Good afternoon, I am Ms. Figueroa and I took over the civil engineering class. I am Ms. Roma and I took over the civil engineering class. I took over the civil engineering class. I took over the civil engineering class. Seven graders. YouTube open. You might want to mute the, um, if you have YouTube open, it might be creating an echo. Give me one sec, sorry. Okay, um, sorry about that. Um, I took over the civil engineering class with uh, your 11th graders. Um, your students are learning how they could change the world and their communities through civil engineering. 
Um, my office hours are from Thursday, are Thursdays from 12 to 1 and Fridays from 2 to 3. Yo soy la maestra Ms. Figueroa y yo me hice cargo de la clase de um, ingeniería civil y sus estudiantes están aprendiendo cómo es que ellos pueden cam cambiar el mundo y sus comunidades a través de la ingeniería civil. Mis um, días de mis horas de oficina son los jueves a las 12 a las 1 de la tarde y los viernes de las 2 a 3. Currently, your students are working on a project where they're redesigning a, an old building and recreating that into a library. And so they're learning how to use a software called um, Floor Planner. And they're going, um, they're looking into how everything that goes into building and designing an, a new building. So they're looking at codes and regulations and how that all applies. Um, sus estudiantes en este momento están trabajando en un proyecto donde tienen que uh, reconstruir un edificio y convertirlo en una biblioteca. Ellos están aprendiendo uh, que, uh, cómo usar un software que se llama Floor Planner y también están aprendiendo todo lo que requiere cuando uno construye un edificio de nuevo. Buenas tardes, padres. Uh, soy la maestra de AP, uh, Química AP. Um, good afternoon, parents. I'm the AP Chemistry teacher. Uh, right now, we are preparing for... Oh, Paul, you might have the YouTube video up, too. Uh, no, I'm good. Um, so right now, we're preparing for the AP exam, which is on this Thursday at 11 a.m. Please make sure that your kids are awake for it. Um, and we have a uh, prep meeting at 1015 to make sure that everybody can log on. Um, otherwise, normally my office hours are from Thurs Thursday from 12 to 2 and Friday from 11 to noon. Um, and then, oh, um, ahora estamos uh, preparam, uh, preparar, uh, preparando por, uh, para el examen AP este jueves a la 11. Um, y tenemos un, una conferencia para preparar a la 10 y corto. Um, after we are done with the AP test this Thursday, we'll be focusing on applications of chemistry in toxic waste management in LA that affects a lot of our local communities. Um, después de el examen de AP este jueves, um, estamos, uh, estamos trabajar um, en el um, proje uh, proyectos sobre el comunidad, la, la comunidad. I'm also the AP chemistry teacher. Uh, right now, we are also preparing for the AP exam next Monday at 1 p.m. And um, at, we have office hours normally um, on Thursday from 12 to 2, Friday from 11 to noon. Um, es, um, nos, nuestra examen de AP ex, Environmental Science, um, la ciencia de natura, um, es uh, el, el lunes, la, la próxima lunes, um, a, la once, uh, a, la, a la una, lo siento. Um, y tenemos una conferencia para preparar a la doce y cuarto, uh, la próxima lunes. Y después del de examen de AP, uh, tenemos un proyecto sobre la comunidad y real world. Thanks, everybody. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I am Mr. Trachtenberg. I am your AP biology teacher. Uh, the main goal of the course is to explore advanced concepts in biology at the level that you might experience them in college. My office hours are Thursday and Friday mornings from 10 to 11. I can be reached uh, via email, which is basically my name, Mr. Trachtenberg at gmail.com. Uh, and then in Spanish, uh, hola, soy Señor Trachtenberg, maestro de uh, Biología Avanzada. Um, estudiamos conceptos en Biología 
uh, a la nivel de la universidad. Uh, mis horas de oficina uh, son el jueves y viernes de uh, 10 hasta 11 por la mañana. Y mi correo electrónico es mi nombre, uh, Mr. Trachtenberg at gmail.com. Next slide, please. Ah, sí. uh, what are we doing now? Well, basically, we're just preparing for the exam, which is this coming Monday, May 18th, at 11 a.m. So that's, uh, that's really our main focus. So um, lo que uh, hacemos ahora es uh, estamos preparando para el examen el uh, 18 de, de mayo a las uh, 11 por la mañana. Uh, también uh, vamos a tener una conferencia antes del examen a uh, uh, 10 y 15 por la mañana para uh, prepararnos para tomar el examen. Y después de la, del examen, uh, vamos a ver, pero ahora es uh, uh, todo es, está en el examen. And that's it. Good evening, parents. My name is Jason Dora. I teach uh, AP literature and I have uh, both or two periods that have both engineering and medical students. Uh, right now we are doing some last minute preparation. The exam is this Wednesday, I believe at 11 a.m. Um, my office hours are Thursdays from three to four and Fridays from two to three. And the next slide shows some of the, or many of the prompts that your, your children have been working on. So if you've seen them feverishly writing essays, it's likely that they are working on uh, one of these prompts. And I, I am available um, on Schoology for messaging. And uh, I think that's it, thank you. Muy buenas tardes, él es el maestro Mr. Dorr de la clase avanzada AP Literatura. Se están apresurando y están tratando de, um, de hacer todos los preparativos para tomarse el examen de AP de Literatura que llevará a cabo este jueves. Uh, por favor, uh, ponerse al día con sus hijos para que estén um, listos para su examen. Sus horas de tutoría del maestro Mr. Dorr son los jueves de 3 a 4 de la tarde y los viernes de las 2 a 3 de la tarde. En esa clase están analizando los aspectos de la literatura y en esta página ahora va a ver todo lo que ellos están trabajando ahora. Good evening, my name is Ms. Satilano. I am the US history teacher at STEM. Um, our objectives is uh, to analyze um, development of federal civil rights and voting rights in during the 1960s. My office hours are Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and Fridays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. as well. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Ms. Satilano. Soy la maestra de US history. Y um, los objetivos de esta clase al momento, estamos analizando los diferentes tipos de, de los derechos de los humanos y cómo puede uno um, a votar. Y mis horas de oficina son los jueves y los viernes a las 10 de la mañana de las 11 de la mañana. Next slide, please. What we're looking at or doing right now this week is we're going to be watching a few short videos and have a group discussion. Our main topic is that we're going to learn about the Black Panther, uh, Black Panthers and their 10 point program. And we're going to see how we can connect it to um, different um, groups that are happening now, such as Black Lives Matters. Lo que estamos viendo en las cosas en la clase esta semana, vamos a ver dos videos y van a tener como una discusión de, en grupo. Y esas son las preguntas que vamos a ver en la clase. Si vamos a, el, el tema principal va a ser de los, el, el grupo de los Black Panthers en 1960 y, de, y vamos a ver sus programas del el Ten Point Program. Gracias.
Hey, if we could grab the next slide. Good evening, parents. This is Mrs. Gomez. I am your child's pre-calculus teacher. Um, at the moment, we are studying the loss of trigonometry, specifically analyzing angle measurements and finding missing sight lengths of real life situations. My office hours are for periods one and two Thursdays from one to two and for periods four and five Fridays from 12 to one. Buenas tardes, padres de familia. Yo soy la señora Gómez. Soy la maestra de precálculos. Al momento lo que estamos estudiando en clase, nos estamos enfocando en cómo um, resolver problemas que incluyen triángulos. Estamos resolviendo los las medidas de un ángulo y las medidas de los lados de un ángulo. Um, what we're doing at the moment, or this is an example of what students will see on Schoology. I am posting weekly videos um, that will support students' understanding of how to find missing angle measurements and side lengths of triangles. I have, um, I have posted my class hours and tutoring hours for students to join me in Zoom meetings. Um, and we have weekly assignments and you'll also see an example of an assignment. Lo que ven en esta pantalla es <clears throat> las asignaturas de que los estudiantes miran en la página de Schoology. Les he dado um, videos para que les puedan ayudar con la asignatura y también pueden encontrar como recordatorio las horas de mi clase y de tutoría. Y hay un ejemplo también sobre los trabajos de, en clase. Gracias. We have Ms. Stone joining us this evening. No, nope. okay, so Ms. Stone's uh, office hours are Thursday and Friday from 12 to 1. Los horas de oficina de Señora Stone está uh, jueves y viernes uh, 12 a 1. Gracias. Okay, and that, that um, concludes our introductions from teachers, unless we missed anyone. Um, and then, do we have any questions in the chat box? Hay preguntas en la cuadro de chat? I'm not seeing any. Uh, so we'll pause for a minute and then break at 6.24, 60 seconds, unless a new question comes up. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing any questions. So um, parents, thank you so much for coming. Um, we had 22 parents in the engineering pathway. So that means we've had uh, 140 parents so far. Um, we hope to get more senior parents on Thursday evening at 5.30. Thank you so much for joining us. Gracias por venir. Um, lo próximo evento es jueves a cinco y media para los seniors. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.